With the many things I've attempted to make from scratch myself, I'm continuously amazed at how such complex processes were discovered and perfected to produce the many items we use. But perhaps of all the items I've made so far, the camera I'm working on that allows you to capture an image in time is definitely one of the most amazing discoveries to try and recreate. This technology seems almost magical, and I cannot imagine what it was like when it was first discovered and unveiled. As with many new technologies, people are often initially skeptical, if not scared. This ended up evolving into the fear that taking a photo will steal a part of your soul in some cultures when first exposed to the camera. Now, just wrapping up the next piece of my camera, the lens, I'm curious about where this fear comes from. So I want to take a deeper look at some of the potential foundations of the myth. But on our companion episode of the podcast, Simply Complex, we're exploring the more modern implications photography has had on our soul, in a more abstract sense, and on our modern culture, now that photography is so widespread and ubiquitous. But first, let's talk about the initial myth. As a camera and photography spread around the world, the story of people being afraid of the camera, stealing a piece of their soul, were being made many places around the world. And as with most myth, it's hard to know how many of these accounts are even accurate or not. Such beliefs like these were supposedly reported initially with the Native Americans, Native Australians, various African tribes, and even in Japan when it was first introduced. A likely origin of such myth likely comes from the connection of one's visible image to their soul. Today, we are so overwhelmed with images of ourself everywhere, but before photography, being able to see yourself usually was limited to just a mirror. And the mirror has many superstitions and beliefs attached to it across many cultures. Greeks, Romans, and Egyptians had the belief that a mirror contains a soul, and breaking it causes damage to the soul. The Mayans considered mirrors portals to the other world and allows ancestors and gods to pass through. Jewish culture requires that after the death of a loved one, while well, the family sits Shiva, all the mirrors in the home where the body lies must be covered, so that the soul will not travel into and become trapped in one. Similar superstitions relating to causing harm to someone through the replication of their image can be found in other practices like burning effigies, puppets, and voodoo dolls. Imagining the initial exposure to the technology of photography that allows your image to not only be shown like a mirror, but also frozen in time onto a piece of paper could almost understandably tap into these underlying myths and fears of your image being attached to your soul, and can explain where this concept might have come from. But now, 203 years after its first invention, has the camera had any impact on our soul, or at least the soul of our culture? On our companion episode of Simply Complex, we talk with a sociologist to find out how photography and social media has been impacting us in our modern life. Find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever else you listen to podcasts.